dear friends this is my tutorial 34 in this tutorial you can learn how to use turnitin turnitin is a plagiarism checking software okay in order to check plagiarism we have to make our manuscript first okay so this is our manuscript so this is the title of the manuscript so here you should you should remove your uh, author's name and also institution name and email id and addresses everything you can remove then you can uh, go down in the manuscript you remove your cited references if you keep cited references and the author name and the institution name and the other addresses you will get the more plagiarism okay in order to avoid you can remove these two things first then you can save this file as a pdf save as if I say PDF go to corresponding folder just you can change into PDF okay now this is the manuscript name just you can save as a PDF so our manuscript saved as a PDF document this is very important step okay just close it you can also close this manuscript that's all over this step is very important then you can we can log in our Turnitin website okay uh, first you can type TU or Turnitin so turnitin.com okay so you can you can type turnitin then only you will understand this is the turnitin.com go to your login is then just you can put login so you can type your email id here and also password just to click login it will go to the uh, main page okay so this is the turnitin uh, the main page so here you can see all classes joint account quick submit just to click it quick submit so here you can see the submit so here you will see the different kind of things so one is search in the internet search in the student papers search in periodical journals and publications so you need to check these three boxes okay then you have to select here no so otherwise it, your document will be deposited in the database or uh, you will get the uh, plagiarism again and again that's why we need to put no repository okay just submit it and it will ask name okay you can type whatever you want just i will type near bc abc here i will type manuscript manuscript so this is the manuscript id So this is the manuscript title so here it will ask choose from this computer or from uh, dropbox or from google drive so you always choose from this computer okay so we already saved that uh, pdf document just upload it then you click upload it will upload it will take uh, 10 to 15 seconds then confirm it will show congratulations your submission is completed this is digital receipt you can print this copy receipt within the document here okay uh, this is your submission id okay uh, the author name is this one manuscript uh, title name file name is this one okay just you can uh, go to assignment box so here is the date uh, maybe if you can click this one it will arrange based on the date So this is our I think manuscript ABC ABC manuscript PHO with new X1 manuscript. So is the similarity is 24%. Okay, this is the pile place, this is the paper ID, this is the data of where which date we submitted. Okay. If you click this one, it will open a small page. Okay. So this is the our manuscript, the plagiary with uh, details of similarities. Okay, you can see everywhere highlighted in the manuscript. That means we are copied from uh, some other manuscript or some other uh, journal. So okay, that's why it's showing the plagiarism. Okay, so you can see everywhere it will show like this only. Okay, so now we can download this as a. Uh, 
now we can download this one so clicking this uh, arrow just uh, you can uh, see different kind of things current view digital receipt originally submitted manuscript this is originally submitted means what we submitted that will download so only receipt will be download here we can we get the current view you always choose this current view so preparing download I think our file here downloaded okay just click it you can see your uh, document so this is the manuscript ID so if you go down you will get the details of your similarity index so based on the percentage it will separate where you copied okay this is the report of your uh, plagiarism so here you can see first one is 13 percent we have copied from uh, this paper okay so can come 2020 this paper four percent of uh, from this paper some other things one 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 percentage is there okay in order to reduce this thing you need to rewrite your manuscript uh, once again then you can check the, again the plagiarism you will the percentage will be reduced into 15 to 24 into less than 15 or 10 percent okay then you can submit your manuscript for any other journal okay so this is the thing so thank you for watching if you have my video if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for future videos thank you thank you for watching thank you for your time enjoy